Hey, what's up guys, Scamfeed here, and welcome to his upgraded Aguero review. As you can see, we have his 87 rated card in the team. His normal card is 86 rated, and I paid 1.3 million coins for this guy just to get this review out for you guys. Anyway, make sure in the comments below you let me know which player you want me to review next. I'm going to bang as many as I can out today before I fall asleep. And in six games, this guy scored nine goals for me. And as you can see, his card looks awesome. 89, 89 on both pace and dribbling, which is great, because one of the best things about Aguero for me, and has been for the past few FIFAs, it's how good he is at dribbling. He's very similar to um, Eduardo Vargas in FIFA. Really, really good dribbling, but obviously Aguero has much better finishing. Let's have a look at some of the in-game stats. And I want you to look at that. 70 strength. For me, his strength didn't feel that great. His balance was awesome. He didn't. He always stayed on his feet, but he got pushed around a lot, and he did get bullied by defenders if he didn't beat them for pace, which is a bit annoying. But um, as you can see, 90 dribbling, 90 finishing looks absolutely awesome, and 85 shot power looking great. He really is good at finishing. Oh, I do have to say, in the early games, though, I did struggle to finish with him a bit, but once I got used to him, um, he did start scoring more goals. So he probably would have had a lot more goals if um, I got used to him earlier. But um, as I say, it did take a while to get used to him because. Uh, when I, like with the early games, I was like shooting, just like tapping, shoot, and he was like skying it, like really skying it, which is a bit frustrating. But I eventually got used to the guy, and we started banging in quite a few goals. And he did score some uh, very nice goals, too much, really good finishes, and that's the best thing about him, too much. His finesse is awesome. When you get one on one with the keeper, pretty much as long as you don't mess it up, you will score that goal, which is good to see. Really good footwork here, and smashes it into the other side of the net to make it two 0 in that game, taking uh, advantage of the. Uh, one man down. Then once again, good bit of play here, and he's very unlucky with his shot. I thought I'd go for it, and boom, off the bar. Very, very unlucky was Aguero in that game not to get his hat trick. Anyway, Remy on the edge of the box flicks it in, and Aguero on the volley with his left foot smashes it home to make it 1 0 very early on in that game. Really good finish uh, from his weak foot. He has got a four star weak foot, and there weren't too many issues with his left foot, to be honest. Breaks away here on the uh, counter attack, and that is what he's best at for me. High low wear creates, keeps him in a good position. And um, very, very lethal on the counter attack. Probably, if you can use the 4 4 1 1, then this guy would be very effective in that formation if you can get used to it quick enough. Personally, I just can't get used to that formation. But um, Aguero, lethal on the counter because he's rapid, good finishing. And as I said, them high low wear crates keep him up the field so um, he's in the right position to finish off them chances and finishes very nicely with his weak foot for that final goal of the clips. So, guys, the positives and negatives about this guy. Now, I want to talk about the negatives mainly. Um, one of the main ones, obviously, he didn't feel that much better than his um, original card, which obviously is quite a big downgrade because he is a hefty price right now. So that's one thing you should bear in mind if you're thinking about buying him. And the strength. I know he has 70 strength in his in-game stats, but for me, he did get bullied quite a bit. He didn't go to the floor because his balance is good, but um, he did get bullied quite a bit by a few defenders. But he's a very, very clinical striker. He's awesome on the counter-attack, as you'd probably expect with that pace and dribbling. And the high-low work, which would keep him in a good position. But for me, just not that complete striker um, that I was looking for to give a 10 out of 10 to. Anyway, guys, going to give Upgraded Aguero a 9.5 out of 10. If you have enjoyed this review, remember to leave a like. Make sure you comment below which player you'd like to review next. Have a good day. Adios.